Blustery conditions awaited Mike Ruddock's men as they ventured northside to a muddy Castle Avenue. The Friday night lights fixture saw Clontarf playing catch-up with Lansdowne, who were seven points ahead at the top of the table. After just four minutes, Clontarf took the lead, with a penalty inside Lansdowne's 22. Clontarf out half David Joyce making use of the post to get the first points on the board. Fourteen minutes in, and Clontarf forced a penalty, putting pressure on Lansdowne in the scrum. From in front of the posts, Joyce made easy work of the kick to make it six points to nil. Clontarf had to deal with the setback of losing their prop, Vatang Abdeladze, taking a heavy knock and being helped off the pitch, but he was ably replaced by Ivan Soroka. However, Tarf soon saw another penalty for offside deep inside the Lansdowne 22 with Joyce again kicking three from three to make it nine points to nil. Lansdowne's woes continued soon after with second row Josh O'Rourke being sin-binned in the 28th minute. Clontarf, however, failed to capitalise with the extra man and Lansdowne's defence held out, with Clontarf conceding a penalty in the dying minutes of the first half. Lansdowne's out-half, Scott DC closed the gap to six points with an on-target kick from distance. Despite good possession early in the second half by Lansdowne, they couldn't break down Tarf's defence, which maintained its discipline. And 16 minutes into the second half, it paid off with another penalty for offside. Joyce again slotted the ball over with ease for his fourth kick of the game. Tarf saw a man sin late into the game, with Lansdowne putting the squeeze on in the scrum. With sustained pressure, Lansdowne almost got over the line for a last-minute try, but Tarf held out to deny them the five-pointer. Lansdowne's DC opted to take the three points, but missed the target with the last kick of the match, and the game ended Clontarf 12, Lansdowne 3.